Okay, guys, you know, I gotta do this now. If I don't do this now, I don't think... Well, obviously I'll get around to doing it sometime, but I don't want to procrastinate anymore. I'm doing it now. Okay, so basically what we're doing, in case you don't know, is getting the Comet Medal here. Um, because I wasn't able to get it before because I flew too low. Because the fourth one's pretty hard because it's up high, so... We, we want to make sure that we stay high. It might go slow. It might be boring, because slow is really not the way this is designed to be, but... Hey, we're getting the Comet Medal. Yeah. So there's the fourth one. I actually forget where the fifth one is, but I'm going to stay high. Well, we can kind of, like, glide a little. Because you're not actually flying, you're gliding. Because, because we're not going up. Like, there's no way to go up. Okay, the fifth one is... Yeah, it's right there. And then we can get the Comet Medal. Wow, we almost broke our record, and we were, we were like, going slow, and we almost broke our record, still. So. You flew, you flew, yeah, yeah, even Fluttered looks happy, um, and yeah, this is just showing what, that, that's what a star looks like if you've already gotten it. Originally, in, um, Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine, they were blue when you already got it, but now they're just clear. Mm-hmm. Actually, in this game, there's three different types. There's four different colors of stars, actually, in this game. There's, the, there's of course, the power star, the clear star, and the green star, but there's also the bronze star, which we won't be getting any of those. Bronze stars are basically, you let the, um, hmm, well, new clear time, of course. Okay, so now we can do, uh... I want to say Bowser's Castle, because it looks like a castle, but it's actually Bowser Jr., I mean, Bowser's Lava Lair. I just need to make sure that we can see everything, because I have a bad habit of, like, when I'm recording, like, I don't get all the text in of, like, what the characters are saying. I was just looking at my last Paper Mario part, and, I mean, text is a big part of Paper Mario, and Twilight Princess. Not really so much in this game, but... Well, okay, let's do it. Bowser's Lava Lair. So let's go. Well, let's, let's just find out if we can see all the text. Yep. Yeah, I sent a grand star ahead. The way is dangerous, so... You beat that guy, and then we... This thing is called a pull star. Um, you go into it, and, well, it tells you, but... So... Now we got a spring. Interesting way to get from one planet to the next. And, uh... I, I, I kind of like breezing through levels. I really don't like waiting around. I mean, originally, that's the way the speedrunners did it. I mean... Because, I mean, in Super Mario Brothers, like the original, that's the way, like, everybody did it. Just breezing through the levels. and But not me. So I think the roles are kind of reversed. In the 2D Mario games, I always... I always, like, take my time on the levels, because, I mean, but now here, I, I don't really do that. I kind of just, like, running through it. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I grew up with these games. I mean, I grew up with Super Mario 64. And, I mean, I only played the original 2D when I look back on them, so... You know, I want to be, but uh, the truth is, I'm just not a classic gamer. I like classic games, I'm just, I didn't grow up with the games. Uh, I grew up with the Nintendo 64, and, I mean, for most people, classic game. I mean, for the classic gamers, classic games are like memories, but for me, they're just like, hmm, so this is how it was back then. Ah, pretty cool. Oh, oh, that's right, that's an instant KO. KO, it's death. We're not playing Super Smash Brothers. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there's a one up there. Oh, we lost our, uh, thing, too. 
by the way, um, if you, uh, like, jump and spin right next to the hammer bro, I think you, like, can, like, kick them. It's called, like, a spin kick. You know, I've always wondered why they don't include Fire Brothers in these games, because... I mean, Fire Brothers really aren't in that many Mario games. They're pretty much considered to be the hardest Mario enemies ever, right? I mean, Super Mario Brothers 3, they were, like, barely in it, but when they were, they were brutal. In, in Super Paper Mario in, um, World 8-3. Remember the Fire Bros in Super Paper Mario? God, those things were brutal. Yeah, so we gotta get the common medal again. It's not a big deal. Just get out of the way. So now these, you better get used to this, because this is how you're gonna be beating Bowser every single fight. I, I mean, I do like the Bowser boss battles. A lot, actually. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Those things are called chompers or something. I mean, they look like dry bones. You can't kill them. Okay, so there's our other thing. I don't know if I'm going to get that, because there's another one that's really easy to get, but oh well, it's right there. What's a jump for a shortcut? So... Careful, the statues. Statues! Yeah. Apparently Zelda's not the only game where the statues move. But hey, statues moved in, like, Mario 3. Yeah, I'll show you the jump kick. I guess. And just, um, I just want to show you, if you, if you already have six lives, then if you get one of these, it's like a one-up. See? So, uh, are we ready to fight Bowser? Or as my brother calls him in Mario Super Sluggers, Beezer. <laughs> it just kind of caught on. I mean, it's funny to call Beezer as a joke in the Mario spinoffs, I guess, but in these epic battles, hmm, maybe it's not such a great idea to call him Beezer. Where does the name Bowser come from, anyway? I mean, they originally just called him King Koopa, right? Well, that was in Japan, wasn't it? Yeah. He's big. And he's fat. And his legs are, just as always, have a fat problem. Seriously, Bowser's legs. Oh, that, okay, we shouldn't talk about Bowser's legs. Or maybe we should talk about... Okay. See, the Bowser battles are all tougher because, in this game, because in the first Super Mario Galaxy, he took three hits, and then he took six in the final battle. But in this game, he takes four hits, and he takes, like, eight in the final battle. Okay, so what you do, basically, you just do this. I'm not used to him being, like, this easy because, because he gets, of course, he gets harder as you go on. So that's what you do, basically. Just do that. After a couple hits, he'll start to breathe fire, of course, but... Oh yeah, you do it twice, and then he starts to say, Okay, okay, you know what? Now I, now I got this. I got you, Mario. Yeah, well... Yeah, so he, he is gonna breathe fire. So he kind of wanted to avoid that. Well, I don't know what kind of is. You know, I don't think I've ever done this boss battle without taking a hit. So, I don't think I've ever done any boss battle. I mean, except for the Daredevil ones, but... I don't think I've ever done any Bowser boss battle without taking a hit, but I very well could. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, Mario. Let's do it, no! No! Oh! Okay. I mean, I know I'm gonna win, just... I mean, not taking a hit, I mean, that's, that's pretty... Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Your, your Wii Remote, it, like, rumbles. That's good. I mean, you really interact with this game. Look at his toenails! 
Now I remember why you're Arch Nemesis. You're so annoyingly hard to squish. Good thing I win anyway. While well, we've been playing, my master plan has moved on to the next phase. Yes, there's a Mario cliche for you right there. In Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, and this game, whenever you beat Bowser, he says, Gar, you beat me, but it doesn't matter because my plan has already moved on. And you know that, too. So, I think I'll just stop the video here. Well, after the Grand Star, like, comes in. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, I'm actually feeling pretty proud of myself, um, I don't know if I can consider myself an expert at this game. I'd say that, yes, I am pretty good at this game, but it took me over a hundred tries to do the perfect run, so that kind of... Well, now, I mean, obviously I've grown. I think this LP is definitely helping that status get up to expert. Well, how about that? You fought a giant monster, and then he turned tail and ran off, right? Well, let's get on after him. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like your special one is still with that monster. Well, let's not just sit around getting older. Yes, so here we go. World 3. And by the way, don't expect every world to take quick. I know World 1 and 2 only took like, what, like 7 videos each? I guess maybe, yeah, every world will take about that long, but... So this is World 3. Pretty cool. Actually, World 3, um, World 4 might be my favorite, but I like World 3, too. Wow, an entirely new world. Looks like the path splits up ahead. Hey, don't look at me. The captain makes the choices. Am I right? 